thank heavens you're here now. Oh, what are you doing? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. It's just that you must keep still. Oh, especially while the swelling goes down. Oh, right, but he, he's going to be all right, though, isn't he? Yeah, fine. The surgeon said the operation couldn't have gone better. Oh, good. I've been so worried about you. Who told you? Is it the police? When did they do no. that? No. No, it was me. When you was in surgery, I went down to your mum's room and I told you everything, didn't I? Mm. Sorry. No one needs to apologise. No, especially not you. And at least she's in custody now, eh? Are they letting you go home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the doctor. Oh, that's great, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, give me ten minutes, I'll come with you. You don't have to do that. No, the nurse said he needs to sleep anyway. You shouldn't go home on your own. Well, why not? Well, you had a bad fall, didn't you? The house got in a bit of a state last night. I need a bath and some sleep. Don't worry your son, do you? No, of course not. Then do as you're told. I'll call a cab. Right. Betty, baby, did they leave you locked in in your own? Oh, come on. Everything happened so fast. Oh, it's all right now. Mummy's home. I had to put her in here because uh, a lot of things got knocked about in that room. All right, I can manage. I don't think you should have a look, really. No, it's all right. I can manage. Shut the door, eh? I'll do it later. No, no. Be all right, go on. You go on up to bed. Pauline, you've just got out of hospital. You mustn't exert yourself. Oh, son. Oh, Pauline. Oh, I've been up half the night on my knees. Yeah, well, he, he's going to be fine. Oh. Seems like him upstairs was listening then, eh? I don't oh. mind telling you, he gave me a right turn. I thought for a minute there that Yeah, well, he's going to be all right, isn't he? So, panic over. Go on, Sonia. You go up to bed, dear. Only if you promise me to sit down and leave that room alone. Go and have a rest, Sonia. I'll make Pauline a cup of tea. She can get all off her chest. Well, the shock probably ain't itchy yet. It can take quite a while. Because I remember when my ash... Well, you know, part of me just wanted to go on as if nothing had happened. But it hasn't, though, has it? I told you. Martin's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. He's lucky. Say that again, love. I thought she was such a sweet kid, that Sarah. Have you any idea how it happened? I mean, I can't imagine it was just an argument what got out of hand. It'd be some sort of nutter. I mean, unless a bloke comes out. Martin there. wouldn't do nothing like that. No, I know, no, but for a normal person to pick up a knife and stick Actually, it. Actually, I, I am feeling rather tired. Yes, well, you go to bed. I'll make you a nice casserole for when you get up. Uh, no. No, thank you, Doc. Well, we've got to go up the hospital and, well, to be honest, you look so good with a few hours yourself. Oh, she's right on all, Dorothy. You know, you're still recuperating you now, and I'm beginning to flag and all myself. Yes, well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. But if there's anything you want, you know, any time, I'll only be on my sofa. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate that. Have a nice sleep, did you? It's all right, you know, you don't have to. You don't want to talk about it. Truth is, I don't even want to think about it. I just want to blot it all out. I mean, what if I'd lost him? I know it gets on your nerves that I won't cut the apron strings, but... Sometimes, yeah. 
But I know you only do it because you love him. He's all I've got. No, he's not. <laughs>